Hi everyone, welcome back to Green Country Baits. I appreciate you stopping back in. We got a paint session for you today. We're gonna to be continuing our swim bait line and we're gonna be adding the sweet shad pattern to it. So I think you're gonna like this one. Come join me, stay till the end. Okay, we've got our base coat on. Again, what I've done is I've got a white base uh, that I went over because it's a clear lure. Went back over the top of that, almost all the way down to the belly with a black magenta. We placed our netting on there. We've got it held fairly tight, it looks like, in all areas. And uh, so now we're gonna come back. And what I've got mixed up here is a uh, transparent white with a little bit of yellow and sand to make a bone color. We're gonna go over the top half or the bottom half, I guess I should say, with this bone color. But again, I just want that, I want that sand color. We're gonna go over our, our gills. Get that sand color and the bottom half of that bait. It's, uh, I say sand color, it's really a uh, bone color, but it looks like I got a little bit too much yellow in it for my liking, but that isn't gonna matter because we're gonna go back over this uh, several times. That's just gonna be kind of our base. And I actually wanna get up a little higher on that. There we go. Anyway, while I'm cleaning my brush out here, we're gonna add a, 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 a more of a true white to it next. Uh, and we're going to start involving some different colors into uh, the mix here. So, uh, but again, we've got to have a transparent white uh, in order to do that. And just missed it. Cut my pressure back. I can tell that. And I'm just going to kind of go real random, like make an X here and here. And get some of those white scales. Uh, and then a real light mist. Just to fog that over. Staying way back off of it. And I'm gonna go around that cheek just a little bit more. Might have got that paint a little heavy in there. So that that black still shows through. But I've got enough of the white that it's gonna grab some of these secondary colors that I come over it with in just a minute. So let me know what you think. A little bit different pattern here. So, so I'm gonna look for a violet here. Let's see what we want. Uh, so I'm gonna have a shed spot right in this particular area. And what I'm gonna want, what I'm wanting to do here uh, in these darker areas where I had the white, I'm gonna drop some of that, that purple down into it. 
just along those shoulders as well, but I'm gonna, in areas, drop that purple down even a little more. And, uh, may need to put a little more white in and if you do I still that's a good thing about having the white I can uh, come right back with that and uh, most of that on the back is going to be covered up with black uh, or maybe a copper I think we'll go with copper pearl copper I definitely want some of that up around my cheek here. And then I'm gonna ghost it down the side at an angle. Just, just a little bit of a hint of it. There we go. Let that white in those directional that I give it, pick a little bit of that up. And then I'm gonna come back with my white and go back to my Let a little bit more of that copper pick up that on that white. And you can just leave the white. The white really pops out some scales, gives this lure a little bit of depth. And it really picks up any of these secondary colors that you're that you're throwing down as well. Okay, so I'm gonna heat set this, probably pull this off camera uh, from a distance. Okay, so we're gonna pull that all off, just like so, and give that a good heat set. We've got a lot of color and a lot of depth in that. We're going to come back and we're going to mute some of these scales down a little bit with our white. Okay, so at this point, we're just trying to knock a little bit of the scaling out toward the belly, mute it. Not necessarily trying to cover it completely up, but. And this is a transparent white, so a lot of that. I do want to go back. I need to create our bone color again. So again, it's just a little bit of tiny bit of transparent yellow, white, and sand. Got to go careful with your your yellow. I'd like more a little more of a bone sand color than I want of the yellow, but. Uh, but you need a little bit of it, I think, in your bone color, for sure. Uh, now we're going to come back with some white. I'm just mixing my cup, talking to the camera. That's probably not 
good for you since you can't see what I'm doing, but uh, I do want to remain, I don't want our cheeks white like they are. I want them to still capture some of the bone color and a little bit of that copper that we had. belly as well we're just layering this dude up need a little hint of copper like out here on the end of this gill Go with our black down the back. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, FX texture just to the top of this. And that way, uh, just breaks up the top of the bait. And some of that pearl black, as you can see it right there, kind of gives it a little bit of texture and depth to the bait. There you pretty much have your sweet shad. Several different colors, kind of hidden back in there. You can still see the black through the scaling. Uh, gives us our scale separation and a bone belly. So copper highlights on the gills that light violet in the background, so black top. Anyway, guys, hope you liked the video. Hope you liked the pattern. Uh, leave comments. Let me know what you think. Uh, until next week, we can catch your baits. Signing out.